Hello, everybody. It's nice to have you one more time. Good evening and welcome to this English class here on Zoom. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hello, it's nice people. to have you. Good evening. How are you? Good evening. Welcome. It's nice to have you. How are you? You good? Welcome, welcome. Hello, hello. It's nice to have you one more time. Uh, as you may know, um, this is class number six. It's the one we are going to work today. So it's nice to have you one more time again on this beautiful day. So then we can practice a little bit of English on the in this class. Okay, so um, it's nice to have you one more time. And we will keep learning. Just give me a minute. We're still working with section number three. Uh, that is the one we're working so far. Uh, what is that thing? Here we go. Okay, so uh, this is going to be today's class. We're going to talk about saying prices um, in class number six. So welcome, everybody. It's nice to have you one more time. Hello, hello. Hey, let me see. Just let me change my name. I think I have my name here. What's going on with this thing? Okay, just let me. Um, is this thing recording? Yeah, it's recording. Let me change my name really quick. Um, so we can be with the class. If you have a question, let me know anytime before we begin. Welcome, it's nice to have you one more time. Okay, um, Raul is here. Hello, Raul. Welcome, welcome. Hello. How are you today? Leslie. Hello, Leslie. Welcome, Leslie. Hello, thank you, mister. Are you happy today? Are you happy today, Leslie? Oh, some spray good, some spray good. Okay, uh, don't forget people at home, you, you must have your cameras on so I can see. Uh, your beautiful face of some of the camera. Uh, this is gonna be today's class. We still work with number three. This week we're gonna work with section number three and um, also we're gonna work with a midterm. We have a midterm um, for this week, so you gotta finish that. Um, and today is going to be about um, saying prices. We're working with something about prices. It's like the typical question that we do when we want something, right? Uh, and when we talk about money. Uh, the typical question is like, how much is something? So uh, that is the way we, we do it. So this is going to be uh, in class number six. Uh, this is going to be uh, the title. Okay, let me take the attendance uh, really quick. Uh, when you hear your beautiful name, say please then, or I'm here. Oh, this one is. Give me a minute. And I have it for you. Today we're going to have the 22nd. You sit the 22nd. Alison, Daniela, Celaya. Alison? No? Okay. What about, oops. What about Ana Marisol Zamora? Ana Marisol Zamora. Hello, hello, Ana. No? Okay. Let's carry on with uh, Andrea Marisol Represa. Hello, Andrea. Good evening, teacher. I'm here. Thank you so much. Andrea Vanessa Landos. Present. Welcome again. Um, Thank you. Barbara. Cabrera. Hello, Barbara. Hello, teacher present. Nice to have you one more time. Uh, Brenda Isabel Castro. Hello, Brenda. Hello, teacher. Thank you so much. Hello. Nice to have you. Again, Carolina del Carmen Perez. Hello, hello. Carolina. Hello, Lina. present teacher. Thank you so much. Welcome, Claudia Giselle Lopez. Hello, Claudia. Hello, teacher. I'm here. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Cristina America. Hello, Cristina. Welcome. No? Okay, she's absent. Let's carry on with Daniela Asensio. 
Hello, Daniela. Good evening. No? Okay. Um, Edgar, Fernando, Portillo. Hello, Edgar. Present, Mr. Nice to have you one more time. Uh, Ernesto, Misael Ventura. Hello, Ernesto. No, not today. Okay, let's carry on with um, Griselda Moreno. Hello, Griselda. Thank you so much. Um, Ivania Mendoza. Hello, Ivania. No? Okay, what about um, Jennifer Torres? Jennifer Torres? Here, mister. Thank you so much, Jennifer. It's nice to have you again. Jennifer Paola Moss. Hello, Jennifer. Oh, okay. Um, Jennifer Marroquin. Jennifer Marroquin. No. Hello, Jennifer. No. Okay, let's continue with um Jocelyn, Natalia Mancia. I'm here, teacher. Thank you, Jocelyn. Um, Karen Garcia. Present. Thank you, Karen. Um, Carla Colocho. I'm here, teacher. Thank you so much, Carla. Um, Laura Molina. Laura Molina. No. No, Laura. Okay. What about Leslie? You're here, right, Leslie? I think he saw you. Present. Thank you so much, Lisbeth de Rodriguez. Hello, Lisbeth. Hi, hi, hi. Welcome, welcome, Lisbeth. No? Okay, let's carry on with Lorena del Carmen Hernandez. Hello, Lorena. Here, Hi. Thank you so much. Um, Lucia Cepeda de Herrera. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Um, then we have Mayra. Mayra? Hello, hello, Mayra. No? Okay, um, let's carry on with Raul. I think you're here, right, Raul? I'm here. Thank you so much. Um, Ruth, I'm sorry, Dalila. Dalila Barahona. Present teacher. Thank you, I missed your name, I'm sorry. Hey, Ruth Del Carmen. Present teacher. Thank you so much. And uh, Stephanie. I'm here, mister. Welcome, it's nice to have you one more time, everybody. Welcome. Let me check really quick the uh, chat on Zoom, because sometimes you send messages there and I don't, I don't check them. Brenda. Okay, Brenda is here and also Allison. Okay, let me check that really quick. Um, Brenda and Allison. Allison, Daniela. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay. So yesterday we were working with um something about let's say how do we ask how do we ask for something that we are buying right Raúl ayúdeme con eso si usted va a una tienda y le quiere preguntar a, a la salesperson cuánto vale algo cuál es la pregunta que hace uh -huh. Mm -hmm. what, what is the question that you do? Do you still have, digamos? What? No. How much? Oh, yes. How, how much? much? Uh -huh. Quanto vale? E exactly. So you can ask how much is that? And you point the product. Or you can say how much is that TV? Or you can say how much is that PS5? Or you can say how much is that computer? Right? Mm -hmm. Right, you can say the name of the object or you can just point it out with your finger, right? Where is something located? Uh, we're going to watch a video just for you to remember how this thing works and then we will practice, okay? Now let's listen and watch. In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation and will be introduced to comparison with adjectives by expressing preferences. 
Which one do you prefer? Look, these jackets are really nice. Which one do you prefer? I like the wool one better. The wool one? Why? It looks warmer. Well, I like the leather one better. It's more stylish than the wool one. Hmm, there's no price tag. Excuse me, how much is this jacket? It's $499. Would you like to try it on? Uh, no. That's okay. But thanks anyway. You're welcome. Notice how the girls are talking about their preferences. In the next class, we will study how to express preferences and comparisons. Participants will listen to a conversation and will be introduced to comparison with adjectives by expressing preferences. Which one do you prefer? Look, these jackets are really nice. Which one do you prefer? I like the wool one better. The wool one? Why? It looks warmer. Well, I like the leather one better. It's more stylish than the wool one. Hmm, there's no price tag. Excuse me, how much is this jacket? It's $499. Would you like to try it on? Uh, no. That's okay. But thanks anyway. You're welcome. Notice how the girls are talking about their preferences. In the next class, we will study... Which one do you prefer? Look, these jackets are really nice. Which one do you prefer? I like the wool one better. The wool one? Why? It looks warmer. Well, I like the leather one better. It's more stylish than the wool one. Hmm, there's no price tag. Excuse me, how much is this jacket? It's $499. Would you like to try it on? Uh, no. That's okay. But thanks anyway. You're welcome. Notice how the girls are talking about their preferences. In the next class, we will study how to express preferences and comparisons. Okay, let me check really quick. Ernesto and Lisbeth, right? You tell me. Just let me double check that really quick. Ernesto and also uh, Lisbeth. Hello, hello, teacher. Hello. Are you? How are you? How are you? I'm pretty good. What about you? Everything good? Sorry, sorry. Is, is, every, that, is everything good? Every? Every? Is everything good? Is everything all right? Like, uh, did todo está bien? Is everything good? Okay, yes. Well, well it's okay, Tisha. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, just give me a minute because I need to like. Hello, hello, teacher. Good Hi. night. Hi, how are you? I'm fine, thank you for asking. So, and you? I'm pretty good, thank you. Um, you're Lisbeth, right? Yes, Lisbeth Martinez. Thank you so much. I got, I got, I got your name here. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay. Okay. We're gonna practice some something here. We just give me a minute because I need to have it ready so you can see this. Raúl Reyes. Okay, Raúl, can you? Tell me, like, tell me, what is this, what is this uh, conversation about? Raul Reyes. What is this conversation about, Raul? Yeah, so the question is, what is this conversation about? ¿De qué se trata la conversation? I observan unas, algunas ya... Eh, ya que sería como como bueno es como una chumpa creo yo están bonitas eh, entonces una le dice el cual si ha elegido alguna de sus preferencias uh -huh. y la otra dice que sí le gusta una de wool one no sé wool one no sé qué es which one uh -huh. no wool Uh, would, would, like, le gustaría, would. 
Bueno. Entonces, una le gustaría, entonces una le pregunta que si a alguna le gustaría, entonces ahí le pregunta el por qué. Okay. No, teacher, él dice que no sabe qué es wool, que es lana. No sé cómo se pronuncia. Oh, what is that thing? Oh, wool. Wool. Oh, oh, I like the wool one better. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. That's Lana. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. That's Lana. Thank you so much, Brenda. That was very good. Yeah, it's like Lana. And then we have another one, which is, what is the other material that we have for these jackets? What is the other material? Anybody? So we... Cuero. Exactly. How do you say cuero, Edgar? Exactly, exactly. So we have leather, leather, this one that we have here, which is about um, the other material, I guess, weather, right? Thank you so much, uh, Raul. Uh, question for you, Andrea Marisol. Uh, where are they? Um... They are in a store. Exactly. What kind of store is that? Uh, a cloth store. It's a clothing store. Very good. A uh, clothing, clothing store. store. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, what is, how do you call this profession? How do you call this profession, Andrea? Vendor. Uh, <laughs> a vendor, or we can call sometimes a salesperson, right? We can have a salesperson uh, here. Okay. Sales? Salesperson. Salesperson. Oh, okay. Salesperson. Exactly. Thank you, sir. Salesperson. Okay. okay. Do you have any question about vocabulary, people, on this in this conversation? Do you understand everything, or do you have a question about this, um, let's say, conversation that we have here? Yeah. No, everything is clear. Okay, this is like a typical thing that when you go to a, like, I don't know, like a clothing store and you want to buy like new clothes, um, you have this typical conversation. Let's have participation from this one. Let me check. Cristina, hello, Cristina. Hello, Cristina. No, she doesn't have a mic. Stephanie, Stephanie. Hi, Mr. Stephanie, you are Anne, okay? Okay. Anne, you are Anne, this one. This one, that is you, okay? Yes. Lucia, you are Sue, okay, Lucia? Oh. Okay, teacher. You are Sue, and Raul Reyes, you are cleric. Ready? Let's begin. Yes. Look the jackets are really nice. Which one do you prefer? I like the wool one better. The wolf one? Why? It looks warmer. Well, I like the leather one better. It's more stylish than the wool one. Mm, they're so price that. Excuse me, how much is this jacket? It's for 499. Would you like to try it one? Oh no, that's okay, but thanks anyway. You're welcome. Thank you so much. Very good. Um, then we're going to carry on with Brenda. Hello, Brenda. You are going to be Anne. Uh, your partner is going to be Dalila. You are going to be Sue. And this cleric, okay, is going to be Edgar. Okay, Edgar, you are the cleric. Ready? Let's begin. What do I ask you, teacher? Okay, one more time. Brenda, you are Anne. Okay. okay. Your partner is Dalila. Esto es oh. lo que encontré en la web. Sorry, Dalila. Hello, Dalila, can you participate? Sí. No? Okay, Daniela Asensio. Hello, Daniela teacher. Asensio. Oh, there is Dalila, right? Sí. Yes. 
Okay, Dalila. Your teacher, Dalila. Okay, Dalila, <laughs> you're going to be Sue. You're Sue, Dalila, okay. And um, Edgar, you are declared. Ready? Let's begin. Uh, look, these jackets are really nice. Which one do you prefer? I like the wall on better. The wall one, why? It looks war warmer. Well, I like the letter on um, one well, better. It's more stealing than than the good one. Mm, there's no price that. Excuse me, how much is this jacket? It's Oh, that's Edgar. 499 that, Would Edgar. you like to try it on? Oh, it's, no. Uh, 499 dollars. Would you like to try it on? Oh, no. That's okay. You're welcome. Thank you so much, the three of you. Very good. Let's continue with another one. Leslie, you are going to be Anne. Lorena, Del Carmen, Hernandez, you are going to be Sue. And Ruth, you are the clerk. Ready? Yes. Please begin. Look, these jackets are really nice. Which one do you prefer? I like the wood one better. The wood one, we? Oui? It looks warm, warmer. Well, I like the letter one better. It's more stylish than the wood one. Mm, there's no price tag. Excuse me, how much is this jacket? Este ahorita no como que se me ha ido la señal y no veo. Está borrosa la pantalla. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Ahorita ya este dice it's for se pronuncia for hand Four hundred. Yes. Ninety. Ninety-nine. Four hundred ninety-nine. Would you like to try it on? Oh no, that's okay. But thanks. Anyway. You're welcome. Thank you so much. Very good. Give me a minute. Um. Okay. Oh, Andrea Landos, you are going to be Anne. Claudia Lopez, you are going to be Sue. And Ernesto, you are going to be the Claire. Okay? Okay. Yes. Okay. Got it? Let's begin. Eh, no veo la primera por el cuadrito. Okay. Dice, look, this jacket are really nice. Which one do you prefer? I like the wall on better. The wool one? Why? It looks warmer. Well, I like the letter, the letter one better. It's more stylish than the wool one. Um there's no price tag. Excuse me, how much is this jacket? It's forty ninety nine. Or you like to try it on? Oh no, that's okay. But 
Thanks. Anyway. You are welcome. You're, You're welcome. welcome. You're welcome. And here we have $499. $499. Okay. Thank you so much for your participation, people. Great job. We're gonna have some exercises in here. In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation and will be introduced to comparison with adjectives by expressing preferences. Which one do you prefer? Look, these jackets are really nice. Which one do you prefer? I like the wool one better. The wool one? Why? It looks warmer. Well, I like the leather one better. It's more stylish than the wool one. Hmm, there's no price tag. Excuse me, how much is this jacket? It's $499. Would you like to try it on? Uh, no, that's okay. But thanks anyway. You're welcome. Notice how the girls are talking about their preferences. In the next class, we will study how to express preference. Okay. Differences and comparisons of some exercises. Okay, here we're going to have demonstrative ones and ones. Let me check one more time. Uh, okay, we're going to have this one. We're going to have a mercy a little bit like bigger so you can see better. Give me a minute. So I mix, let's see if I can see if I can make it bigger so you can see it better. But sometimes it's don't have a small. So I'm trying to to like uh, make it like bigger so you can see it better. Give me a minute. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, this is the exercise. Okay. Here we go. Okay, we're gonna have Jocelyn. Hello, Jocelyn. Welcome. Nice to have you one more time. Hello. Thank you. Can you read this information, please? Thank you so much. No veo, está como una pantalla gris. What about now? Bueno, la primera, la primera oración no se ve, no se ven las letras. Está una pantalla larga. Bueno, hoy sí ya. Okay. Tengo que leerlo, ¿verdad? Yes, please do it. A todo la, todos los tres puntos. Exactly. Thank you so much. With singular nouns, use this for and then that is never in the for and then that is no never how much index have er, how much it that have over there. With plural nouns, Use this is this is for things that are never in and thus for things that are not never be. How much are these earrings here? How much are those earrings over there? Use one two replics in singular noun. I like the rep half, I like the rep one. Use ones to replace plural nouns. I like the green bats. I like the green ones. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Um, great job. We're gonna have a minute. We're gonna have the, the explanation in here. We're gonna have this and that, right? If you notice when something is like, um like nearby which is being close okay that's when we use this right uh, for example i have this cell phone here so this is my cell phone right so i'm saying like this is my cell phone because this is with me cell phone is with me so it's very close right if i have something that is far from me i can say that is my tv right something that is far from distance uh, we can say that is that. This and that goes with singular, okay? And we have the typical question when something is singular. How much is this hat? So you have the hat with you. And then we have how much is that hat 
over there. So over there means it's, it's in a distance, and here means that it's close to me. And with plurals, we have these and those. With plurals, these is with something is very close to me, and that is plural, like glasses, earrings, computers, tables, and so on and so on. So for that one, uh, we're going to use these and those. If you notice here, okay, we have these here when something that is nearby. So that means it's very close to me. Something that is plural, things that are plurals are close to me, I use these. And when the objects, plurals are like far from a distance, I go with those. Okay. And then we have ones in one. Okay, we use one to replace a singular now. So I can say, I like the red one. So that means I'm talking about something, right? But you need to be familiar with the, with the thing, right? Por utilizar el one, tiene que usted saber antes de que estamos hablando. Por ejemplo, here I have, I like the red hat. I like the red one. So. I already know what is the thing, right? And we use once when something is plural. Okay, I like the green bags. I like the green ones. Entonces, igual, siempre tengo que saber con anterioridad de que estoy hablando para poder utilizar el one and once. Okay, what are you going to do? You are going to do this exercise here. Okay, you are going to select this option, right? Choose the correct option. You have two options. The only thing you need to do is you need to pick up or select the correct option according to the sentence. I'm going to give you five minutes. The other five minutes, but can we guys the exercise? And luego we will check this together. Okay, Raúl, do you understand? Yes. Oh, perfect, perfect. If you have a question, let me know anytime so I can explain uh, to you, teacher. Yo, eh, yes. una consulta. Entonces, para usar ONCE, eh, necesito saber eh, o necesito hablar de algo en específico, de lo que necesito saber. Exactly. You need to have like something familiar before that. So you can use uh, the green one. Okay. okay. So you can say, yes. for example, I want that, I don't know, that, I don't know, that hat, right? How much is that hat? I mean, we, we don't know, like, specifically what is the hat, right? So you can say, oh, um, you can say the, the, the red one, or you can say the green one, just to be specific about it. But prior prior to use the one or ones, you need to have something related to the object. So the person knows the context you use it. Okay, great question. Again. What you need to do is just to select what is one of these two options. You have two options to complete the sentence. You please just pick the correct one. And then we will check together. Five minutes, people.
Okay, when you finish, if you're ready, you can raise your hand so you can participate. Okay, um, let's have Andrea. Thank you, Andrea. Continue, please. Uh, solo hago la primera. Oh, you, you begin with letter A and then letter B, okay? Okay. Excuse me, how much are these shoes? They are 279. Dollars. Okay, yes. Dollars. <laughs> yes. Shoes. 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 Very good. Thank you. Lorena, continue, please. Thank you. Okay. And how much is that bag over them? It's only $129. That's very good. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Andrea Marisol, continue, please. And are the two gray ones 129 too? No, those are only $119. Sorry, continue, I forgot the dollars. That's okay, continue, please. Okay. Um, oh, this, oh, this store is really expensive. <laughs> Very good, yeah. This is store, this story is for rich people, right? Very much. Because uh -huh. it's, it's like everything is expensive. Over over 100. Everything pretty much. Thank you so mm -hmm. much. All of you. Great job. Everything is correct, actually. Uh, which is fantastic. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Great job. I'm just waiting for the rest of your classmates. Again, if you want to participate, just raise your hand. Um, so you can do it. Some of your classmates did it already, so I'm waiting for the rest of your classmates so you can participate. And if you si no don't understand esto, let me know so I can explain to you. Okay? This thing is like when we go like to a market or to a store and we want to ask about prices, you know what I mean? How much is something? Depending on the context we're talking about, we can use um this grammar structure. We can use this, we can use that. We can use these, we can use those, we can use, um, I don't know, one or ones, um, depending on, on the way we want to use it. Uh, let me check the chat. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm going to stop sharing. Give me a minute. I share one more time. So maybe that takes the issue. Uh, give me a minute. I apologize. Okay. Okay, Lucia, thank you. You ready? Yes. Thank Can you. Letter A you? and letter B. Okay. Can I help you? Yes, please. I really like those jeans over there. How much are they? Which one? Do you mean this? Uh, no. Thank you so much. Black one. Okay. Lucia, thank you so much. Very good. Everything is perfect. Great job. Okay. Everything is perfect. Great job, Lucia. Um, also, I love the way you figure it out that in this one, do you mean these? Right? Do you mean these? Because it's like something plural. Very good, Lucia. Great job. Okay. Somebody else? Teacher. Yes. ¿Cómo identifico cuando es this y cuando es that? O sea, cuando es es y cuando es aquel. Si no tengo una imagen. Oh, in that one. Por ejemplo, este de aquí, dice usted. This. Uh -huh. 
Y el otro creo que es este de aquí. Espérame que esta cosa no me deja. Sorry. Otra vez de ahí. Y este. ¿Y es? Entonces, usted se va a fijar por estas expresiones. Over there and here. ¿Ok? okay. Yes, over there significa ahí. Está a la distancia. In a distance. And here es lo contrario. Here is like very close to me. ¿Ok? So, así es como lo va a identificar. Also, yo le comentaba a su compañera, a Lucía, porque ella aquí identificó esto. Acuérdese que los jeans siempre van a ir plural. ¿Ok? Aquí estamos hablando de los jeans, right? Por eso la importancia del, del, del context we're talking about. Yes. Entonces, como estamos hablando aquí de jeans, right? Entonces, la siguiente cuestión pues va relacionada with ones, right? Y también, do you mean these? Do you mean these? Okay, so that goes with, because we're talking about the genes, you know what I mean? That is, that is the thing. Okay, the last one. Who's next? Who's next? Thank you, Ernesto. Ernesto, continue, please. Thank you so much. Ernesto, continue, please. Thank you. Hello, teacher. Thank you. Continue. Sorry? Desde aquí. No. Oh, no, the black one. Once. Very good. Continue. Let me look all. It's a terrifying 99. Okay. Okay. What do you think about the answer, Karen? Um, thank you so much. ¿Qué piensa usted de la respuesta que me dio? It says, it's $39.99. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Is that correct? Or can we use there? There. Mm -hmm. uh, Brenda, what do you think about this answer? Is, is this one the correct one? It's there, there. It's, it's there, very good, there. So there is the correct one, because again, siempre vamos con el context. Estamos hablando desde el beginning con los jeans, right? And as you may know, jeans are always plural. Thank you so much. Raúl, continue, please, Raúl, desde aquí. Please, thank you, Raúl. Thank you. That That's not bad. And how much is that shredder hair is that are... this Raul, continue please uh, they are only uh, nine 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 dollar Okay, oh. tenemos a nine dollars with ninety nine cents. Okay, nine dollars with ninety nine cents. Nine 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 cents. Exactly. Primero decimos nine dollars with ninety nine cents. Okay. Uh, does somebody else does somebody else have a different answer with this one? Does somebody else have a different answer? What are your answers here? Yes. Okay. Can you tell me, please? Thank you. Uh, that's not bad. Uh, how much is this sweater here? It is only $9.99. Cent. Exactly. Raul, your classmate selected this. Yeah, this. ¿Por qué this? Porque tenemos la expresión here. ¿Qué significa la expresión? Aquí. 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 Es como, Aquí cuando se posa, como cuando se posa le dice, hey Raul, come here. Come here, right? Así le dice, come here. Yeah, ven acá. Eh? Hey, Raúl, come here. So that means, va cerca. Por eso tenemos this. Okay? And also because it's singular here. Okay? How much is this? Sweater. It's just one sweater. 
Okay, so the next one is going to be it's, porque va relacionado, va related to the previous one. Okay, so we can say it's only nine dollars with ninety nine cents. Yeah. Questions, sir? Questions? Yeah. Teacher, en todo caso, eh, puedo diferenciar también si hablo de algo que está cerca con is y algo que está lejos con are, o solamente en plural, sería eso de are cuando es, eh, son muchos y exactly. is cuando es uno nada más. Exactly, the second, the second comment, the second option. Ah, okay. Exactly, exactly, the second option. ¿Cómo puedes saber si está cerca si no está viendo el object, right? Porque ahorita no tengo la picture con estas expressions, here, over there, okay? Just, just to let you know what is located something. Um, because the rest goes with verb to be. And that's related to something plural and singular, right? It's not about the distance, like um, what, is, what is located something. So um, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. Unfortunately, that, that's, that's the only way. However, also you can use a plural, right? You can use plurals as well, depending on the concept, uh, like, um, I really like these jeans here. Okay, so uh, you work with that so just to communicate like, oh, so that means it's, it's here next to me, so I need to use these according to the context. Let me stop sharing and let's do it again. Okay, let me see, give me a minute because this thing is loading. I think I have another exercise, okay? Can I help you? Okay, we have this conversation with the items for sale. You see in this picture, we have different items, right? Or your desk, such as notebook, we have watches, uh, phone, and bags. And I think we have glasses, right? So we have these products in this picture, right? Um, I needed to write like a short conversation like this one between the student A and the student uh, B, uh, Lisbeth. Yes, teacher. Do you have a question, Lisbeth? No, I uh, practice um, and reading. Oh, okay, please do it. Thank you. Um, the role play. Yes, please do it. Okay, role play. Can I help you? you? Continue. Yes, please. Letter A. Paid work, put it for sale on your desk. Search on notebooks, watches, phone, or bags. <laughs> Student A, you are a select clerk. Answer the customer's questions. Student B, you are customer. Ask the price of each item. Say if you want to buy it. A, can I help you? B, yes, I like this pen. How much is it? Which one? Okay. Change, change roles and try the role play again. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. In this exercise, what are you going to do? You are going to have this conversation at the end. A short conversation, right? Where letter A is like uh, a sales clerk or a salesperson, y a student B is the customer, okay? Entonces, at the end, usted va a tener una conversation like this one. Usted le puede agregar más uh, things just to, to make it like uh, bigger, let's say, right? Um, Stephanie? Mister, what is the meaning of sales clear in Spanish? Sales clear es como el, pues, el vendedor. Ah, es el vendedor. Thank you. A veces le llamamos sales clerk o a veces le llamamos sales person. Okay. Most of the time it's a sales person. Okay. Um, aquí le llaman sales clerk, which is the same, the same thing. Entonces, at the end, ¿qué va a hacer usted? Es un short dialogue utilizando this material that you have here in the picture. Yes? Toma el screenshot so you can practice. Voy a tomar la attendance again. Let's have to do it. Okay, uh, and then you can work on this one in your not. Yes, uh, a typical conversation like between a sales clerk and a customer, right? 
like the exercises. Yes. Questions? No, oh, sure, no problem. Okay, you are going to make like a short conversation entre student A y student B. Student A es el sales clerk, que es el vendedor, y student B es el customer. Entonces, es como que el salesperson llegue, como el ejemplo aquí, y le pregunte, can I help you? Y luego usted escribe algo, yes. Y aquí le va a ir cambiando a usted el objeto, right? I like this backpack. How much is it? Which one? You know? O usted puede hacer de un solo el price, right? Porque solo tenemos una. Aquí tenemos algunos glasses, right? Usted puede decir, can I help you? Yes. How much are, what sería, these or those glasses? Mm -hmm. Entonces, ahí usted va a ir utilizando ese context. Al final le va a quedar una conversation acerca de los products, right? Usted puede hacer diferentes products que tenemos en la picture, right? Like cell phone, like watch. I think we have a notebook here and a book, right? So you can have like, again, preguntar, right? Es como cuando va a preguntar por products, browsing, browsing, I'm sorry, browsing for things, right? Va a preguntar por los precios de las cosas, y al final pues no compramos, right? Sometimes we do that. Entonces, that's, that's what I need here. Eh, no sé si tienen alguna duda o algún comentario. No. Ok. Voy a dejar de compartir because I need to take the attendance. Sorry. Um, again, when you hear your beautiful name, say please and I'm here. Let me check again. Um, Alison, you're here, right? Yes. Ana Marisol. Present teacher. Thank you so much, Ana. Um, Andrea Marisol Represa. I'm still here, teacher. Thank you so much. Andrea Vanessa Landos. Present. Thank you. Barbara Alejandra Cabrera. I'm here, teacher. Thank you so much. Brenda Castro. Present. Thank you. Um, Carolina del Carmen Perez. Present. Thank you. Claudia Lopez. Claudia Lopez. Eh, Cristina Monge. Claudia. Teacher, I am. Are you Claudia? Yes, teacher. Thank you. Sorry. Cristina Monge. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Daniela Asensio. Daniela Asensio. Present. Thank you so much. Um, Edgar. Hello, Edgar. Hello, teacher. Present. Thank you. You're still here. Um, Ernesto. Hello, Ernesto. Hello, teacher. I'm here. Griselda, Lise Moreno. Hello, Griselda. Yes, ma'am, teacher. Um, Ivania, Stephanie Mendoza. Ivania? No? Okay. Um, Jennifer Torres. Hello, Jennifer. Jennifer Moss. Jennifer Moss. No? Okay. What about um, Jennifer Andrea Marroquín? Jennifer Andrea Marroquín. Um, Jocelyn Natalia Mancia. Hi, teacher. Thank you, Jocelyn. Um, then we have Karen Garcia. Um, Carla. I'm here, teacher. Thank you, Carla Colocho. Hello, Carla. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Um, Laura Molina. Hello, Laura Molina. No. Is Laura Molina here? No. Oh, come on, come on. Sorry. Um, Leslie. Hello, Leslie. Present. Lisbeth Martinez. Hello, um, teacher. Lorena del Carmen Hernandez. Here, teacher. Um, Lucia Elena Cepeda. I'm Mayra. here, teacher. Thank you so much, Mayra. 
Oh, Mayra. Oh. Um, Raúl. Dalita. Perfect. 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 Uh, if you have one conversation like this one, just raise your hand so you can participate by reading what you have, okay? If you have a conversation like this one, raise your hand so you can participate uh, by reading some parts of your uh, like conversation, okay? Okay. Excuse me? Excuse me? No? If you finish with this conversation, raise your hand so you can participate. And I can let you know, oh, that is good. That's perfect, right? Again, this is about a conversation between a clerk, like a sales clerk, and a customer, right? Asking about prices, how much is something, right? And obviously, like, saying, that the sales clerk is saying, like, what is the price of something, right? Um, Yes. If you have questions about this one, let me know anytime so I can help you with it. Okay. Um, remember that the first person that starts the conversation is the sales clerk. Lorena, thank you. Can I help you? Yes, I like, I like this notebook. How much is it? Which one? Very good. Entonces, la siguiente oración, ¿cuál crees que sería? Iris, one dollar. No, 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 porque la pregunta es, which one? Um, podría ser, podría the ser. The uh, one. Exactly, the, the red one. The red one, right? You can say, which um, one? The red one. Y luego dice. Red one. And Iris. One dollar. Oh, that's reasonable. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So that's the way. When you have this one, which one? Acuérdense que which one es cuando tenemos varias opciones y no sabemos, right? Entonces le preguntamos, oh, si algo es singular y tenemos varios objects, decimos which one. Okay. Which one. Y cuando algo es plural y no sabemos qué es, Ana, ¿cuál utilizamos? Uh -huh. Cuando lo, los objetos son plurales y no sabemos cuál es, ¿cuál utilizamos? Sí, cuando, cuando el objeto es plural, cuando son plurales los objetos, ¿y ¿cuál utilizamos? No, de estos que tenemos. Utilizamos once o one. 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 Exactly. Which one. one. Which ones, exactly. Cuando es singular, utilizamos which one. Y with cuando algo es plural, utilizamos which one. Exactly. Very good. So at the end, very good, Laura. Your conversation le va a quedar así como la hizo Laura. Okay? Something like that. Questions at home? For example, can I help you? Yes. I like these glasses. How much is it? Which ones? Okay, okay. How much is or how much are? How much are? Uh, how much are? Exactly, exactly. I use that on the way who wonder when you're ready and sing. Okay. Exactly, exactly. Very good, Lisa. Okay. I think we stop it here tomorrow. You will do participation by, by reading your dialogues, right? Okay, pasamos hoy. Mañana le voy a pedir un poquito de participación. Be ready so you can participate tomorrow. Lucia and everybody, good night. See you tomorrow. Take care. Bye bye, everybody. Thank you. Bye. See you. Good night. Good night.